بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, This is chapter 3 and uh, this chapter is about matrices and in section 3.1 we will uh, talk about the definition of matrices and how to add uh, uh, subtract and multiply them by scalar so matrices are classified in terms of the numbers of rows and columns they have so this is row one row two so we have m rows here and m rows one two three up to n so we have n columns these are the columns column one column two so we have n columns so we say that this matrix is m by n matrix m by n matrix so m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns you see that when we write here a m1 this mean m is the row and one is the column so this is the mth row and the first column uh, this is called the order of a matrix uh, two matrices are said to have the same order if they have the same number of rows and and the same number of columns so for example here this matrix c has two rows and three columns so it's two by three matrix while the matrix d has three rows and two columns so it's a three by two matrix so they are not equal they are not the same they have different orders uh, the numbers inside the matrix are called entries or elements of the matrix so one two three are elements or enters uh, of d of the matrix d uh, when we write b two three we mean the number in the second row and the third column so for b uh, the number in the second row third column for if we have if this is b if this is the matrix b then b23 would be second row first row this is the second row and third column and one two three this is the third column so this is the number so this number is b23 we denote it we call it b23 uh, a matrix is called a square matrix if the order is three by three or two by two if the number of rows equals to the number of columns then we call the matrix a square matrix so for example b is a square matrix if if the matrix has one row like this one or this one this matrix has one row and two columns so uh, it is of order one by two and here we have one row, four columns. So this matrix has order one by four. We call these two matrices a row matrix because they have only one row. And if the matrix has only one column, we say that it's a column matrix, a column matrix. The order of this matrix is three by one because it has three rows and one column. Also, row and column matrices are also called vectors. Zero matrices uh, are matrices with all enters. Every entry is zero. So all the elements inside the matrix are zeros. We call them zero matrices. There is a zero matrix of any order. Two matrices will be equal if they have the same order and the same enters the corresponding enters are 
the same. Corresponding means uh, the the first in the first row, the first row is equal to the first row, the second row is equal to the second row. Exactly, they have the same entries. Exactly. So, for example, these two matrices are not equal because this matrix of order two by two, while this matrix has order two, uh, three rows and two columns, three by two. The order is different, so they are not equal. When we interchange the columns and the rows of a matrix, we get a matrix called the transpose. So a transpose would be a matrix with rows and columns interchanged. Okay. So for example, here, which element of a, B is represented by A32. When we say small a, so it is an element in the matrix A, capital A, not capital B. Three, third row. Two, second column. So the element in the third row, second column is eight. So A32 is eight. Is A a square matrix? How many rows? Three. How many columns? Three. So the answer is yes, because it's a three by three matrix. Find the transpose of the matrix A. Good. A transpose. What to do? What is the first row? One, zero, three. Make it the first column. The second row, three, four, two. Make it the second column. 7, 8, 3, the third row in A, it would be the third column of A transpose. So this is how we find A transpose. Does A equals B? Let us see. 1, 0, 3, 1, 0, 3, 3, 4, 2, 7, 8, 3, 7, 8, 4. They have the same order. All entries are equal except A, 3, 3. So no. Since A33 is not equal to B33, A33, third row, third column is 3, while B33 is 4. They are not equal, so the two matrices are not equal. Do matrices A and B have the same order? Yes. 3 by 3, both. Does matrix A equal matrix B? No. It's clear. For example, uh, A, 1, 2, first row, second column is 2, while B, 1, 2 is 4. They are not equal. Does B, T equals A? Let us find B transpose. Look to B, okay? First row, 1, 4, 7, write it first column. 2, 5, 8, write it second column. 3, 6, 9, write it third column. So this is B transpose. Now let us look at A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, exactly. So yes. So B transpose is equal to A. Addition and subtraction of matrices. If two matrices have the same order, same number of rows and same number of columns, we can add and subtract them by adding corresponding enters. So this is matrix A, this is matrix B, both have order M by N, so we to add them, we add A11 with B11, A12 with B12, and so on. We get a new matrix C. For example, find the sum of A and B. So A plus B would be, do they have the same order? 2 by 3. 
2 by 3 good so we can add the corresponding elements 1 plus minus 1 that's 0 2 plus 2 that's 4 3 plus negative 3 that's 0 4 plus negative 2 is 2 negative 1 plus 0 negative 1 negative 2 plus 1 negative 1 so this is the matrix a plus b of course uh, if you start a plus b is equal to b plus a so if you start from here negative 1 plus 1 you will get the same answer because 1 plus negative 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 1 so the sum uh, satisfies the commutative law of addition which means you start by adding a plus b or b plus a is the same but this is not the same for the multiplication of matrices multiplication of matrices is not commutative as we shall see in the next section let us define the negative of the matrix b negative b negative b is formed by multiplying each number by a negative one so this is if this is b negative b would be negative times negative one one negative times two negative two so basically you change the sign of all the elements of b of course negative zero is zero so we do not write negative zero okay using the negative we can define the difference a minus b when a and b have the same order by adding the corresponding or subtracting corresponding elements so find for matrices a and b in example three find a minus b well here i will find a minus b here because they are in front of me now so how one minus minus one so it's two two minus two that's zero three minus minus three so six four minus minus two that's six negative one minus zero is negative one negative two minus one is negative three so this is the matrix a minus b uh find a plus b minus c well that's easy a plus b minus c would be equal to can we do that this is two by three two by three two by three all have the same order good so the new matrix will be also of the same order two by three we need to add a plus b and subtract c so one plus three four minus one three two plus six eight minus zero eight zero plus one one minus two negative one three plus zero three plus minus zero three one plus two three minus one two two plus one three minus one two so this is the matrix a plus b minus c what matrix D must be added to matrix A so that their sum is the matrix Z? Notice that Z is the zero matrix. So to get the zero matrix, you need uh, D should be the mat negative A in fact. Okay, It should be negative 1, 2, negative 3. 5 negative 1 negative 2 so i'm just changing all the signs of a now when i add 1 plus minus 1 i get 0 negative 2 plus 2 i get 0 and so on so d is actually negative a yes the last operation is scalar multiplication scalar multiplication scalar is a real number okay how can we multiply a number by a matrix we multiply the number by each element in the matrix. So if this is the matrix, CA would be like this. So this is A, find 5A. 
well, 5a would be. I multiply each number by 5. 5 times 4, 20. 5 times 1, 5 times 4, 5 times 0, 5 times 2, 5 times 7, negative 7, 5 times 3, 5 times 6, 5 times 0, 0 times 2, times 5. So this is 5a. If you need to find negative 2a, you multiply each entry by negative 2. Negative 2 times 4, negative 2 times 1, negative 2 times 4, negative 2 times 0, uh, 14, negative 6, negative 12, 0, 0, negative 4, and negative 10. We multiply each number by negative 2. This would be negative 2a. Find 3d minus d. So 3d would be 3, 9, 6, 30. Multiply each, each entry by 3. 60, 3 times 5, 15, 18, and 9. This is 3d. Let us subtract from d. Subtract. So what do you get? 3 minus 1 is 2. 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. 30 minus 10 is 20. 60 minus 20 is 40. 15 minus 5 is 10, 18 minus 6 is 12, 9 minus 3 is 6. And the question, does 3D minus D equals to 2D? And the answer is yes. If you multiply D by 2, you will get this matrix. That's the end. I hope you enjoyed uh, section 3.1 about matrices. Have a nice time.